Good morning, day 299. I'm back in Kentucky. Look, oh my gosh. Did I have an eyeful yesterday driving across the country and through the the fall colors of autumn and the smoky mountains? Like, whoo, had a hard time keeping my eyes on the road. Just kidding. I mean, yes and no, I, I was very careful. As a matter of fact, I'm exhausted today. Driving that far in one day by yourself, um, I enjoy it, but it's mentally taxing. So I'm a little tired today, <laughs> but uh, I will catch up. I'm resilient. One of the benefits of being sober-minded these days, um, I don't, you know, I've got my full access to my full agency and resiliency and energy and all the things. Um, anyway, whew. okay, Philippians chapter two. I, I didn't get, I read the full chapter twice, but I really like, when I first opened it and read the first few sentences, I was like melting. I was like, oh, this is what I need. It just like washed over my soul. It was like what I needed. Um, Paul, and he, and it wasn't even that it offered me anything. It asked me questions and made me think. And I was like, oh, yes. It says, does belonging to Christ encourage you? Does his love comfort you? Do you find fellowship with him? And I'm just like, wow, that's some good questions. Like, if you don't get those things, then like, you didn't, you probably should go like, what am, what am I doing here with my faith? What is it for? If it doesn't provide me some benefits, personally, um, now he goes on to talk a lot about selflessness and Christ's example and all of that. But man, part of the why we do that or should even want to do it is because we feel so encouraged, comforted. We feel fellowship, friendship, like communion with something bigger than us, that we're a part of something bigger. Like that's what I'm living for. That's what gives me life to my life. It gets me out of myself. Like when it's all about me and what I want and it's all up to me and all of that, like that's constricting. That doesn't feel encouraging. That feels discouraging. So, man, I, uh, I just love those few questions there at the beginning. So today might be kind of short and sweet. Like, let's just ask ourselves the same questions. Do you find encouragement um, by belonging to Christ? And if it's not Christ for you, the universe, do you feel like you are part of something bigger? Do you feel the oneness? Um, I was looking at the word atonement yesterday, and liter or actually this morning, um, I looked up the, it literally means at oneness, unity. Like that's what Christ came for is to like literally show us the at one the atonement. He was the, he was, he wanted to be the atonement or he was the atonement. But the, the gift of that is the at one of, of us with this, which then should kind of result in us feeling encouraged, um, comforted by love, in fellowship, in communion. Um, whew. That gives me, even on a uh, tired morning like this, um, I felt, I just felt refreshed. I felt um, a little bit invigorated not totally re-energized, but man, it just, refreshing was the right word. Like just, wow, when I can just sit there and go, oh yeah, I get to be encouraged. I get to be comforted. I am loved. I get to be in fellowship of something bigger. Even in, in my sitting in my quiet time alone, I 
was in fellowship. I was, you feel part of something bigger, which is very encouraging and comforting and feeling loved, like letting it just fill me and wash over me. So I'm going to keep it really simple today because that's where I am today. Just, I'm going to bask in the, simply in the complexity of it all and the magic and wonder and mystery of it all. Um, I, one of the books I'm listening to right now for like the third time, he, he says, um, do simple better. So I'm going to do simple better today. Simplify to amplify whatever phrase works for you. But sometimes we just need to get back to the basics and keep it simple so that God can be God and we can just be encouraged by the mystery of it and the wonder and know that we're and be comforted knowing that we're loved and part of not just that we are loved but we are part of the loveness because if God is love and I am at one with God through Christ, then I am at one with love. There's no separation. And I'm part of the oneness, the every oneness um, of it all, because that's the other thing. It's like when I think about oneness, I think about, oh, that's nice for me. But then I look at, I need to look at everybody and go, oh, well, if we're all at one, then we're also in every oneness. <laughs> And then I can be loving with other people and encouraging and comforting because we're all part of the same love, whether we know it or not, and whether we act like it or not. So that is where grace comes in. Okay, I said I would keep it simple and then I kept going. All right, love you guys. Rise and shine.